Google Webmaster Tools, Rich Cards. Hello and welcome. In this video session, we're going to explore the newly available feature called Rich Cards in Google Search Console. When you log into your account, under Search Appearance, now you'll see Rich Cards menu link. On the screen, we're seeing my blog property. And I don't have any rich cards, but I have structured data. Yeah, because my blog is something different, as in I don't showcase perhaps recipes and so on, or events and so on. If I did, then I can mark up the, those recipes or those products, those events, what Google spots currently. And it seems like Google's going to add more sport as time goes by. So let's go and follow these links to kind of understand how we can perhaps use this. If you end up putting structured data for certain item types, then search console rich cards menu option, as in the reports, will show you all these information related to those rich cards. So let's take a look at search gallery, as in samples for rich cards. As you can see, if your website is related to recipes, then you can see a sample markup. And let's grab all this code. Let's go and paste all that code within a sample HTML document. Now you can actually modify and change all this information to match your recipe details and you can then validate using the structured data testing tool to see if there are any errors and if it's all good to go you can then preview how that rich card will look like let me change that here rank apple pie I know it's rather silly but let's take a look now the testing tool will show us if we use this is going to show up on mobile devices whether it's tablets android smartphones or and so on right so anytime someone searches google for my recipe then the rich cards is all about this let's imagine you're marking up an event let's press on that sample let's validate that here, you sometimes may see warnings. If you see warnings in the structured data testing tool, don't panic because it's just a warning. Warnings usually are optional fields whereby you can actually ignore it. Meaning, whatever we're marking up, we may not have any offers for it. If that's the case, we don't have to place that information in there. So thus, it's just a warning. But then, if you say, no, 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 I do have details for offers, then you place those details. Structured data testing tool is just a tester. Let's add description information here. Let's copy all this line. Let's paste it underneath it and just say description. And then change the content that comes after that double quote till the next double quote then validate then you'll see the description warning is gone because i've just added the description now i could have easily grabbed this script place it anywhere let's view the sample page visitors when they visit that page they're not going to see anything because it works behind the scenes in the source code but what if you wanted your visitors to see that information then you have to place that within your pages and posts content and use different methods instead of scripts so rich cards are all about the new feature for mobile devices concerning rich snippets and rich cards just think of it as structured data. 
If you're using scripts, that's JSON LD. If you're not using scripts and using schema.o, then that's microdata. So at the end of the day, it is all to do with structured data. Okay, that's what it is. Rich cards is just an extension for Google taking that information and present it in its result as rich cards. If you're using WordPress, there is a plugin called Magic Schema Plugin. Take a look at this sample page. Let's go and validate it to see. For blog, it's fully marked up. With few clicks, that plugin adds or gives you the option to add rich snippets for all these item types. Some of them will have preview and some of them will not. In either case, Google may display it in its results set. Let's take a look at recipe. Let's preview it using Magic Schema plugin with few clicks. You can take advantage of rich cards as well as the other structured data item types. Magic Schema plugin. I thank you very much for learning with me and I encourage you to explore rich cards because we are already living in mobile SEO world and I'll talk with you in the next video session.